the rainbow. The shower is past, and the sky, or head is both mild and serene, save where a few drops from on high, like gems, twinkle over the green. So this is where we left it last time we worked on our Uma avatar. We had it talking with a recorded voice and animating the lips and facial expressions using salsa. What I'm going to do in this video is make the avatar talk live with me through the microphone. This is going to feel a bit weird to me because, well, this is a female avatar. Let's get going. Okay, so Salsa doesn't include the mic input module uh, by default. So to grab that, you need to go to the Salsa lip, lip Sync website at Crazy Minnow Studios, um, log in as we saw in the uh, first video, and then scroll down, or actually it's quicker to just search for mic input. And you want the 2.3.0 version, or, or maybe later if you're more recent, uh, and then click the download button. Once it's opened up in Unity, click Import. And once that's imported, we're ready to go. Now it's gonna be really easy for me to add the mic input. Um, but just as a quick reminder, if you uh, haven't seen the first video or you can't recall it, we have this Uma dynamic character. And this character is already set up with Salsa. And we're currently using this audio source here. Remove the audio clip. Uh, you don't really need to do that, but but just so we can keep track of things. Uh, and then we're going to search for mic input. Uh, you see there's the Salsa mic input there. So we'll click that. And uh, we just want to go through these. Um, we're just going to auto find the audio source. In fact, um, let's not auto find it. Let's just drag it in here. So next up, we're just going to go and click this link with Salsa. And that's going to add this extra component here. It's also going to do some configuration of the uh, of the salsa components themselves. And then um, let's make sure we're using the right microphone. In this case, I'm using my Yeti microphone. Now it's saying that it can't actually use this and it's recommending we click the override rate. So let's do that and see what happens. There we go. And now let's try this out. Let's see if it works. Hello. This is very strange. I appear to be talking as a female. Hmm. So there we go. We have it. We're already set up. So there's lots of configuration options inside of Salsa that enables you to control the way the avatar responds to the microphone. I'm not going to look at those. The Salsa documentation is great. What I am going to do, though, is show you one thing that took me a few uh, um, moments to figure out. Right now, you might notice that I have the audio muted on my uh, Unity. If I unmute the audio, this, this happens. happens. It's not, it's not, not ideal. ideal. So I've muted again for a moment. What that is, is the speakers here are feeding back through the microphone, and we get in that strange echo effect uh, that we uh, that feedback creates. That can be controlled with this mute microphone option right here. So if I click mute microphone, I can now unmute the audio and everything looks fine. And this is what you would probably want to do in a game environment if your character is uh, responding to the voice of the player. You would probably want to mute the microphone so that you can continue to have the game audio coming through the speakers itself. Um, so what else can we do? Well, we could use a text-to-speech system and drive the avatar with text-to-speech. So let's have a look at that next. That's a great thing to do in lieu of getting actor voice files uh, or doing live audio as we're doing right now. Um, so to be told about when that comes out, hit the subscribe button below. Click the like button as well. Click the dislike button as well. But do tell me why you dislike it or why you like it in the comments. That's very helpful for me to learn what is useful for people. All right. So we'll see you next time when we're going to do a text-to-speech driven speaking avatar. Cool. See you then.